state. Uh, state may be broadcast somewhere, but at the moment, we're not sure about plans for that. I apologize for the dogs. It's very difficult to shut them up. Uh, however, moving into this, um, I should explain to those of you who aren't familiar, who haven't seen the last couple of these, what Valorant is. It is a 5 versus 5 format, uh, team based first-person shooter in which the the two teams of five players compete a, in an attack and defense style uh, game to 24 rounds or 13 points it's the best of 24 um, the objective of each round is either to plant a spike it's an explosive device with a timer or defend the point where that spike would be planted for a certain amount of time depending on whether you're the attacking team or the defending team. Uh, these esports games are played best of three games. So each individual 13 point match contributes to one of the three game set. Our teams are currently trickling in, setting up. Shouldn't be super long.
as of right now, West Fargo is all set to go, and... We're waiting on the, the Minot team at the moment. All right, we're starting to see the Minot group get filled in, cycle in. Several of them are getting set up. In the meantime, We'll just sit around for a few more minutes while these guys finish getting set up and we'll have a game for you shortly. All right, we just got a time estimate from the teams. They're saying about 10 minutes out before the game is going to start. Well, unless we have a definitive approximation of what we're doing. A couple times we kind of sit here awkwardly waiting, not sure what's gonna happen with them. So that's nice. So we'll be back to you in 10 minutes.
All right, it looks like everybody's getting set up here. A little bit ahead of schedule, actually. Hasn't quite been the 10 minutes they asked for for delay. Not sure if everybody is actually ready, but everyone is at least connected to the central server here. We've got a full roster set up ready to, or waiting to go. A few of them appear to be doing other things at the moment, for the moment still. Warm up practice or some sort of exercise it looks like. may get started in just a few moments here. It may be a few more minutes. I don't know at the moment. But thank you all for your patience. All right, so they're in the intro map selection phase now. So I'm going to go ahead and roll the intro and we'll get to the game. <laughs> Here we are. I had a waiting screen at the moment, but we'll be in the game in just a few minutes here, so. Communication happening in the bottom chat corner there. Partially obscured by the logo. Looks like the map selected is going to be split. And West Fargo is starting on defense. That seems to be their go-to play when they get the chance to, to select. And it looks like the other team taking their ban for the, uh, the match is going to be Banning Haven. A few people probably know what the maps are. I don't have them all memorized. Ascent is a very, very common ban though. Apparently it's not a well-liked map. Haven I've seen banned a few times. But on 
bonuses for the scent is almost always good. some reason giving this the current selection and as I said that we're banning it I don't know what's going on with the selection oh no they requested they request no okay that makes sense they gentlemen ruled in Haven as the map they're playing on they didn't ask to ban it I misread a communication so they're playing on Haven which is unusual because, again, it is up there with the ones that get banned, but they, they gentlemen ruled it in. Um, for those of you wondering, gentlemen's rule is uh, the two teams agree without doing the ban and select process to play on a specific map. Uh, it doesn't come up very often but it is a method that occurs every once in a while. First game starts on Haven. One of the team members just jumped in. Okay, jumped back out of spectator. Makes sense. For you wondering what this coach slot is, that's actually the Fenworks official. Which is interesting that he's also overseeing this match, but it doesn't really matter to any of you. Just an interesting note that he's actually watching this in person instead of relying on either streams or screenshots to, to declare the winner. Although I guess this is the final game of qualifying for state. It's the only one happening right now. I'd imagine that has something to do with it. I'm not entirely certain why we haven't started yet. going when we get going. Should be momentarily now as it looks like several of the people who were in the small um, practice rooms setting uh, warming up are popping out of them. I suspect we're going to be starting in just a few seconds here. Oh, 
one player called these apparently there's a player they're still waiting for so might be a few minutes is locked in. We're loading into the final countdown here. Seems like a pretty standard lineup. This loading screen is the final countdown. No way to know exactly how long it takes. There's no progress bar or anything on this screen. It's just when everybody finishes loading, we get into the game.
Admittedly, this is a substantially longer loading screen. Oh, well, here we are. You see the fire setting up on defense. This is a three-point map, meaning that there are three different places that the spike can be planted in order to win. It looks like most of my knot is coming up the center, although there is going to be a sniper duel uh, going back and forth across the left side. Well, left depending on how you look at the map. On the mini map, it's the left, towards point C. Gracie Shasta sneaking up behind the group here. They cannot. Uh, Spike down A. One group. enemy remaining. Flawless. Cool. That was a very clean round that took out the entire enemy team with no losses. We didn't even see what happened because I was. I wasn't even able to keep up with how quickly they took them out. Buy phase is when players select their equipment using currency. They gain a little bit each round based on how they do. It looks like we're going to be seeing a push for point C. Shutting them down. And as I did not quite finish explaining earlier, those red outlines of the enemy team, the players in game cannot see them. That's a spectate, um, spectate unique fe unique feature that doesn't show up in the, the players' screens. I feel like I always have to mention that because people start wondering why it is that nobody, um, yeah, why, why nobody exactly uses those, reacts to them. A little bit of fire being exchanged here briefly. Cover. Gracie Shasta was taken out just behind us here. And everybody seems to be rerouting towards point A. We were getting a kill. Still in sight. And getting sneak attack from the side. 30 seconds left. Here we've got that boy trying to flank. Spike planted. And there's going to be somebody coming up behind the West Cargo team in the second year. But... No more secrets. Last player standing. That boy is the last standing player ahead. standing. Found them. Let's see if he can pull off a three versus one win. Unfortunately, we cannot. The score is now 2-1 West Fargo. Apparently, that loading screen actually missed the first point entirely, and West Fargo took it before we saw. We don't know why it took so long to load in for us, but... Once again, we have a buy phase. These happen in between every round. messing around with melee animations. Ooh, that's a daring position for Gracie Shasta to be taking up. He's going to be hit from the side here if he's not careful. Some fire exchange, nobody seems to have been down. Spike down, attacker spawn. One enemy remaining. Only one Flawless. enemy left. Flawless victory. Well, Gracie Shasta's sneak attack seems to have paid off. That was impressive. It seems to be a somewhat effective strategy against these guys' play style. Uh, simply because... They 
do not like to to push quickly. They stall. They wait. Time out. Shadows travel. Beneficial thing for attackers to be doing. Finding cover going out. Teleporting up. Asian boy does get taken out. Meanwhile, here. I know exactly where you are. Firefight Spike down, down. B. There. Another. One enemy remaining. And Hendron. I'll clean up. The score is now 4 1 West Fargo. These games take a very different format to, to what is typical from Valor. In that point, uh, strangely enough, it almost seemed like the attackers and defenders switched sides. The surviving defenders were almost universally Tangles and the Tangles incoming! Light them up! Put. That could be a byproduct Suppressing. of the rather unusual map. suppressed! Or it could be a byproduct of a very different play style from the other team. We're seeing sneak attack again here. Spike down A. Two players before he is eliminated. Asian boy unfortunately gets spotted as they try to set up a second position. That boy is a lot of these abilities are detection. Those arrows allow you to see enemies um, close to where they land. Revealing area. See, revealing area. Yeah, anywhere in that radius, that green lit up radius, uh, is revealed for a brief moment. One enemy remaining. Gun that boy she is does spike take down. Out see another of the opponents. Joins. Take flight. Thirty seconds left. Fire bolt. This is another ability. This is one of the. Uh, now you can see the outline of flashes like that. There. Trying to hit through the wall here. Ten seconds left. To an extent. Spike planted. Spike has been planted. Frost Bucket, the last enemy player alive, did get taken out by Lunar Sniper Rifle. And now we see Gat Boy defusing the spike. You failed. Now flee. Strong start here by West Fargo. It's very difficult to manage a shutout in defense like this. Attackers can do it a little bit better than what I've seen. Defenders typically drop points here and there. You want to play? Let's Standing play. Ahead. There they are. Picked up almost the entire the enemy drone. team. Some fire being exchanged. Duel happening over here on this edge of the map. Spike down A. Fire exchanged. Point A is coming under heavy resistance. Cut Gracie Shasta is taken out. <sighs> Last player standing. And Lunar also takes down one opponent. But. The attackers win the point by eliminating the all spike. defenders. The score is now 5-2 West Park. Need a drop. Thanks. At 
this point in the game, a couple ultimates might be coming online. Those are powerful offensive abilities. Is sometimes offensive, sometimes they're not. Typically they are. They actually deal damage, which is different from most of the rest of the game. Oh. First blood goes to Lyric. Asian boy is taken out. Crazy shots getting killed on the from Stealth. It is taken out by Nolan BTY. Mod set Spike is planted. planting on point B. We got Take that boy. Last player Some standing. Fight going on over there. No more. There are two players uh, taking hold of the spike, however. Revealing area. And that boy is alone. He's working on a timer to recover this as well. One uh, enemy remaining. Takes out one. Switches to a sniper rifle. Concentrates over. And unfortunately uh. gets taken out by. No. Enemy. The spike would have killed him anyway. He couldn't reach it with that ice wall. It was kind of an unfortunate setup. He couldn't do it. it. Took a minute for him to realize that there was nothing he could do, but he got the last kill just to see if he could manage to earn a few extra points in the buy phase for the next round. Now ending. Three suppressed. Oh wow, they picked up everybody with flash. Taking out the first enemy. You will not kill my allies. Who is immediately revived? Sage has a unique uh, ultimate Spike down A. Your character can actually revive dead allies um, when it's charged. Those ultimates are very difficult to get points for. Deploying drone. They're only viable once about every three rounds or so. You, you, see, like, you see one total somewhere on the field once every three rounds. Gracie attempting to come around and flank here. Unfortunately, he does not right as Lunar is taken out in the firefight. Jace. 30 seconds left. Lunar is taken out by Nolan BTY a moment later. Spike planted. Spike is down at A. Everybody is pushing forwards to that. For some reason, it seems like the attack going is on. moving and circling away from the shadows. No one BTY does take out another of the Ooh, this is going to be a stylish ending. One enemy remaining. Last player oh, standing. That was a stylish ending. So, the defenders won because that boy managed to defuse the spike while Gracie shots that held off the remaining attackers. He was eventually taken down, but it gave that boy enough time to defend the spike, or defuse the spike, and win the point. Bring the score to 6 3 West Fargo. This is round 10 out of 12 while West Fargo is on defense. Uh, something I have not explained yet is that at the 12th round, Revealing mark, area. the teams are swapped. The attackers become defenders, the defenders become attackers. Everybody has a chance at both roles. Some fire being exchanged here by Lunar. Down the middle by point B. Lunar's <sighs> As it seems... My not team is rerouting at the moment. Tenderdon gets a little bit of a sneak attack there, but does not. Drawing enemy back 
here. Flashbang. And is taken out by number <sighs> Zuner does take Weir out. Feeling on sight. And takes Spike out down and A. around out the of corner. Turns. One enemy remaining. Well. Anthony Frost fuck it. That was a kill streak if I've ever seen one. Deep breaths, everyone. Lunar single handedly took out. <laughs> I forget, was it three or four? I think four of the enemy team. Wow. That was certainly a uh, a moment to be quipped if I've ever seen one. No prisoners. Come you want to play? play? Let's play. Looks like a push for point C. Everybody is going to run out that way. No one walks and away. John is the only one to play. Right now. Property of this character. Uh, if somebody gets to him in time, they can actually bring him back up. Unfortunately, they did not make it this time. Up. Setting up. Uh, uh, both teams are setting up behind an ice wall, waiting for a break. One enemy remaining. Zuner does sneak up behind no one. Well, Lunar seems to be the MVP at the moment. Last Getting round before the switch. Kills the style. Did all be yeah, last round before the switch. Next round. As I was saying, the rules of the teams um, swap. They invert. Name of that. I, I, I feel like I've explained it well enough. It's happening next time. We're seeing this push, it looks like, for point G. Shadows traveling. They will die. Once again, they can't see it when they're just a red out. He had a blind kill through the. Spike down, mid. Of the enemy team, leaving Lyric alone and unsupported. <laughs> Taking out Tender Dong. It would be impressive if Lyric, after Gracie Shots' massive blitz, managed to take out the player standing. It looks like they might. Although the spike is quite a ways away. Um, it's 30 just a seconds left. Of, does Lunar manage to pick off Eric? Feeling sight. Or does Lyric manage to pick off one of his? Or does nobody manage to plant before uh Ten seconds left. Well, lyrics just barely gonna get to uh, be able to plant in time. Spike planted. That Cut in the vision. Very close point there. Lunar taking out Lyric. Diffusing the spike with plenty of time left. Bringing the score at the half to 9-3, West Fargo. Switching sides. Defenders become the attackers. Let's see what West Fargo goes for his strategy here. It looks like they're going to be pushing for the point A. Although that could change in a moment here. A 
right, it looks like they are... They're flagging it, they're signaling as if they are going to... Go for A, yep. Already... Lunar getting a kill, getting taken out on the later. One enemy remaining. As that boy take out most of the team by themselves. Watch them run when lit by my sonar. That's when we strike. All right, and it looks like they're moving to attack point C this time around. That cover seems like they're rerouting back and getting one up here. The Jace does manage to take one of the um, one of the West Fargo players out for getting dropped themselves. Seems like everybody is rerouting towards point A. Flashbang! 30 seconds left. This looks like the mouth of the point that they're going to Spike. Spike is planning. John checking the flank. One enemy <laughs> remaining. Asian boy takes out Lyric. One enemy left. Player standing. Mod set takes out the boy for camera dunk. But that does not compute. Set in turn. West Fargo only needs suppressed. two more points to their win this first they match. Make mistakes. They are running away with it. As they often do. These are both undefeated teams, but it seems... Come here. It seems like West Fargo has the upper hand at the moment. There. Flashbang. There. Seems like they're pushing up the center this time around. Suppress it. Pushing towards the center anyway. Some fire is being exchanged back and forth before moving on. See Shasta getting the first kill there and the second. One enemy remaining. Attackers won by defender elimination. Match point. Match point is up. They're they're running away with it pretty cleanly now. It's you know, almost hard to keep up with the commentary. Ideas, it seems, of a point A attack. That looks to be what's going on. Remaining. Lunar T 
attackers win. Why for a flawless round one point? Stealing sight. Bringing us to round two. I'll sit on this screen for a moment here so people can see the, the kill death ratios for respective players. Racy Shasta was MVP with uh, 22 kills, 9 deaths. Lunar got 21 kills to 6 deaths, 2 assists. And it goes down the list from there. I'm not reading off the whole thing. Moving into the setup for the next match, then. Um, this time around, based on the best of three format, this is not internal Valorant rules, this is external rules. The Whoever started on defense now starts on attack. So... West Fargo is attacking at the start. And I have seen them before completely shut out, win every point on their attacking routes. Not sure if this is going to happen here. It seems like a more capable team only a bit than, than the team they played against when that happened. And currently we're seeing our character selection. The clock at the top indicates the time left uh, to select, after which the loading screen starts the match. Of course, the clock jumps to zero if everybody chooses to lock in. But here we are on the final loading screen approach. The map is Icebox. I uh, did not see that communication earlier, but apparently that's what it is. Loading in in the round of five days. Icebox, unlike Haven, is a two-point map, I mean, there's, an, there's only an A and a B, um, so there's more ground to cover in maneuvering from either point, but at the same time, neither point is uh, as easily, or both points are uh, more easily defensible because you don't have to spread the force in every step. It's hard to tell out the gate which side people are going for, although it seems like they're pushing for number or pushing for B. Just a sneaking up on the base. Dat boy taking out no one behind. Gracie shots to one enemy remaining. Tender Dunk gets lyric. Tender Dunk switch territory. Um, Asian boy is planting the spike. Frostbox does take out that boy, but attacker is one by Defender Elimination. Yeah. Bring the score to one zero. Yeah, 
Three kills. One enemy remaining. One enemy left. There. It seems like they're pushing for point B this time, although, again, it's more difficult to tell on this map. Right there. No carrier's dead. Spike down B. Several players were managing to, they managed to, to retaliate. Now Spike down, B. Two against three. Two against two. Last Seven player ladder. standing. One enemy Gosh, remaining. the only one left, but... Flash out! Enemy left. Flash. Manages to spike it out by taking out the mod set. Plants the spike for the heck of it, but... Uh, attackers win by defender alone. Plus a close one. Right there. Seems like they're intending to push towards point A this time. Right there. Trevor! Get a kill here. Crazy Shasta might uh, drop from behind. We'll see. He's crushed. Accuracy does fail from there. Can't quite land his shots from that distance. The weapon does not level of inaccuracy. One enemy here. remaining. One suppressed. We're seeing a very fight to get the upper hand, winning the fourth round. Fight for elimination. Fight defender elimination. These are On this map especially, this is the same map that they ran away with last time. I think they got to select it. There. But if not, mine so may have made a very big mistake by letting them have this. It seems like this might be one of the best players.
Spike down A. One enemy remaining. Last player standing. Gracie gets another. Leaving us with a one versus one. As the players are going to kind of circle positionally around here. Dunk can't afford to wait forever. 30 seconds but, left. Um, can't get to the spike in order to plant it. So he's trying to figure out how to position. Got the spike! Around, grabs the spike. Plants the spike. 10 seconds left. Planted. My ult's ready. Left. And gets the kill. Another clutch. Okay. Attackers win by defender one man. Couple of these points get close. But attackers always seem to come out on top. Drop something. Right there. Oh, right nice. there. Right there. Interesting. Right there. Situation. Careful there. I'll handle this. No one walks away. This cover is set up. It looks like there is pretty heavy defense here. at point A. It's going to be a very positional battle. Meanwhile, we see Lunar. Stepping yeah. around, trying to infiltrate the enemy's position. Gracie ah. Shost is taken out. Tender door. You will not He's kill my ally! Gets a kill, then gets dropped. Off your feet! Right there. Several of those are being oh. tossed around. Gracie Shost gets a kill. Blinding! Spike down A. Last player standing. And Dat Boy. Leaving just Tender Donk to take out two players and plant the spike. One enemy remaining. Worthless. 30 oh, seconds two. left. Clutch. Second. Is that the best you've got? Packers win by Defender Elimination. Close to the MVP, but it's right there. Lunar that's the top scorer right now. Although Donk definitely has the better kill death ratio, Lunar has higher kills straight up. Right there. And sometimes that's more valuable. Forever! Changing some rounds. Does get Shoot. Lunar gets a surprise kill there. And another. 
in sight. But is taken out by Frost Bucket before the kill streak goes on. One enemy <laughs> remaining. Asian boy takes out mob set. One suppressed. Flash. And that boy takes out Frost update. Bucket for the final point. For final kill for the point, I should say. Scores now 9 0 West Fargo. So we'll see how one sided this second game winds up being. Not too late for Minot to make a glorious comeback. They've gotten close to winning a couple of points. It's not. Suppressive. Impossible for them to bring this back. We shouldn't, we shouldn't be caught in this yet. Six. We are getting the first kill. Cutting their vision. Spike no, down, yeah, attacker spawn. Can't kill on Asian. And that way. Tracy shot. Last player standing. Mod set. Takes out Tender Donk. Frost Bucket takes out Lunar. Gracie is the last player left alive against three opponents. They do have the spike. That's one thing going for them. Seems to be looking for a safe place to plant. Got the kill there. Gets taken out. Minot finally wins a point there. The score is now 9 1 West Fargo. Like I said, it's not going to be a complete shutout. It's not too late for them to make a comeback, but it is steep odds at this point. Steep odds in our favor. Spikes here. Standing. Spike is down. Spike down A. Lunar is the only player standing as a sniper. That's somewhat worrying against a team of great five players. Let's see if they can do Third A kill. This is a shot on the second. And this drops. Defenders get a second point. Last round in the half. The swap to attack defense swap is coming next round. And we'll see if Espargo can regain some momentum before the swap or if defending puts them back ahead. We're back on an upward right there. trajectory, I should say. They are very much still ahead. Somebody teleported out of danger. Stuff here that already teleported him away from the danger there. But not it seems like the boy got it. Flashback! down B. Some fire being exchanged. It is now a two versus three match. One enemy remaining. One enemy remaining. And Asian boy. Planted. Stealing sight. Gracie Shasta live. In this 
firefight, it seems like. Oh, here's a defuse attempt. Watch them run. Frost bucket is attempting to defuse. Oh my goodness, that was incredibly, incredibly neat. Switching sides. Wow. Gracie Shaster really disrespected him like that. Mm, to explain why that worked, he knew right he there. either knew that um, the opponent didn't see him, which is a possibility, but I suspect the opponent did see him, and it was more just a case of the opponent couldn't afford to start over the def start the defuse over. Uh, because the spike would have gone off uh, in the time it took to defuse if he had. Hit them fast, hit them hard. Suppressing. To suppress. But now we're seeing a defense play. First kill. We're getting second, we're getting third. Gracie shots down. One enemy we're remaining. Fourth kill. All with just pistols and defenders win on attacker elimination. As Andrew Dunk takes out the last attack. Very quick, very clean point there. How does the. I think the gear might reset between the. the either between the swap or between each round. It's possible. Not exactly sure how the buy thing works. It, there's different rules for, for different times. Or not different times, but there's like different times. Lunar getting a kill, Gracie getting a kill. Moon getting a kill on Gracie. Taken out by Tender Dunk. Grenade. Spike planted. Spike has them planted. Takes out Asian Boy. One enemy Grenade. remaining. That boy takes out Mod Set. And takes out Frost. He has time to do it. Defenders by spike defusal. Match point. Match point. We might be seeing a time out here as there was a player disconnect that could become a problem. We'll see if uh, they manage to reconnect or not. I need a drop. Tuck, tuck. Right there. But it seems like play is going forward to spike. It's just going to be four versus five. A little bit of an uphill fight, but they're winning by enough that I. It might not matter. Getting taken out, though. Still in sight. There. One enemy remaining. And Gracie takes Defenders the last kill for the match point after a close ending. Well, not really close. Close in the sense of it would have gone a lot differently had Lunar not managed to reconnect. Here is the final scores.
Lunar being the MVP this time around. And with that, West Fargo wins 2-0. Thank you guys for watching. This is the last game uh, in the, the main season. Uh, the last one that we have plans to broadcast at any rate. Um, State is going to be a whole different story. We might get the chance to broadcast a couple of those games, but uh, at the moment, there's no way to know whether we do or not. Which means I am going to wrap things up here. I do not know. We will return.